Hey fellow tennis nerds, I'm back in Malta after a week in Sweden. I'm here to review the Technifiber T Rebound EGA 298. So the 298 gram version of the EGA racket. I think that's the only version there is right now. It's EGA Sviontek's signature racket. Sorry for my Polish pronunciation. Iga won the French Open 2020 and uh, with a Prince racket, I guess Technifiber approached her. She got a, a contract with Technifiber. They created a racket for her that she could use on the WTA tour from then on. Uh, she's been doing okay with this racket. She's won a Masters and I think some other tournament, but not a Grand Slam with the new racket, but she's, she's doing pretty well. Uh, judging by most results, uh, it's always a little bit of a, a tricky situation when uh, you change rackets, especially after winning the biggest title so far in your career. Opportunities open up, Prince, they don't have a huge budget for marketing player endorsements. So Technifiber pounced and they did a good job and they have created this EGA signature racket. Obviously, she endorses this racket. I'm not sure if she uses the exact same specs that this racket comes with. I think that it would be pretty close. She used the 290 version of the TechStream Tour and now she's using a 98 square inch racket. So it's slightly smaller head size, slightly heavier frame and uh, uh, otherwise the specs align pretty well what you would would you would expect from a WTA strong WTA player so she went from this to this and uh, this is 100 square inches 1618 pattern but pretty tight uh, when it comes to how the ball is affected by the strain bed so you can hit a pretty decent flat shot with this frame to this one which is 1619 but the good thing with this one in my opinion and we'll get to that more is that it's uh, actually pretty tight 1619 pattern which is makes it easier for us flatter players to actually uh, get some good control on our our shots so uh, and that part i really like with this frame the the 1619 pattern they're both pretty stiff rackets and uh, maybe not the most arm friendly uh, if, if you have any tennis elbow issues or anything you might want to you know consider other options or consider playing with these rackets but with a softer string like a multi-filament synthetic gut or really drop your tension on the poly string uh, they're obviously softer polys you can use as well there are plenty of, of content about th these topics on tennisner.net uh, so you can check that out but uh, this was a very good racket and i must say after playing with this this is also a very good racket uh, i've really been enjoying this i thought it would be uh, kind of a, one of those frames that are way too stiff for me to use effectively 71 ra stiffness and um, that's a very high stiffness rating you can see kind of the top rackets in the range of stiffness they're uh, ranked around uh, you know 73 72 around those numbers this is strong obviously so this one is a kind of 74 uh, without strings you add the strings the ra drops a little bit as the racket flexes more and now it's 71 ra which is a very stiff racket especially for a 98 square inch so um, obviously I was, I was a bit concerned that my arm would be feeling this frame uh, i i've tested it with the polyester the technifiber black hole that it was strung with i simply liked it too much to switch away and i, I after playing with it for a few sessions uh, with a couple of friends as well i went to sweden and uh, then I, I i haven't had the chance to really restring it and i've really been enjoying this frame all throughout my trip i played uh you know five six different players different levels up to the futures levels from kind of more you know ntrp 3.5 and it's worked well in pretty much all situations on clay on indoor courts uh, returning fast paced serves to in, to kind of dealing with slower pace where you have to be more precise and trust more the racket in those situations so it's it's been a very solid choice i've actually not uh, been switching frames too much which is something i, I tend to do at times uh, I, I tend to oh i want to try this one I, I collected maybe six seven rackets from sweden which i i had my mom's place i'll talk more about them in another video and uh, i didn't try them that much i didn't play around with them that much only one prestige that i got from ring and roll uh, a custom prestige that one i played with a bit but otherwise this was the racket i came back to uh, which was surprising to me and after playing with it repeatedly for a, a decent time and for many sessions with with heavy hitting players i haven't really felt my arm uh, to, to be very sore i do feel it at times but that's more from the tennis i don't feel the harshness of the frame and with some rackets i feel it straight away with this one 
nothing at all really uh, and that could be because of the foam filling inside i don't know how much foam they they do inject or or you know the ratio you, you it's, it's hard to know unless you're on the manufacturing team but definitely has a more dampened feel than the stiffness rating suggests it's still a pretty crisp stiff racket so if you don't like those those rackets stay away from this one but if you have a healthy arm and uh, you like a crisper feel which is generally what i've always done i always pre preferred a stiffer response and uh, then my arm issues came and uh, you know then I've, I've gravitated and I've tried everything from you know the ultimate noodle rackets the XO3 Tour 100s from Prince that are like 52 stiffness the Clash which is 55 uh, so I've, I've experimented with everything but I feel more at home with a with a kind of a crisper layup generally uh, a little bit of a stiffer string bed and I had no issues with this one, even with the black coat. Uh, it's strung pretty low, so that could, could help, of course, around 47 pounds now. And I've been able to control the bolt pretty well despite that. Now I think it's due for restring, but uh, it's a racket I really enjoyed. The players I've handed it over to who's tried it, they've enjoyed it. Matthew called it a good racket, like a versatile frame. He didn't really have any weaknesses that he could point out, but it didn't really have any you know, particular strengths either. Nothing that stood out to him that makes it stand out from the rest. But sometimes that's the racket that works best for, for you, the racket that kind of has a little bit of everything, but no really strong points. And I kind of like that. And um, for my game, it's been, been a really good stick to play with. The specs, line up okay with what i like i like 98 square inch rackets i think they work the best for my one-handed backhand the technifiber grip as i've said before is pretty rectangular um, i kind of like it nowadays uh, my forehand it's been an issue but i'm trying now to change it up a little bit and get a bit more racket head speed on my forehand prepare a bit better i'm playing better players these days i need more better technique i need better footwork i'm working out of the gym as often as i can to make sure i'm physically fit to handle the incoming ball and the rackets i'm testing and so on so uh, that's been an important part of, of my improvement is to keep going to the gym as well as playing a lot of tennis before for a while i just played a lot of tennis and that's not great you need to make sure you get the physio the rehab rest time if needed as well but definitely the gym has helped me a lot in playing better tennis feeling more um, healthy and, and making sure i, I can um, match the tempo of some of these better players that i'm playing one thing i'd, I'd point out is that there's no trap door on the technifiber racket which is a bit of a shame i would like you know sometimes it's nice to be able to open up the trap door very easily and then if you want to add silicone uh, or you want to add like blue tack or something inside the handle for more weight you can do so but these are are not with the trap door that you can easily open so that's a little bit of a minus i think they could fix that pretty easily for future rackets so who is this racket for i would say you know intermediate players uh that kind of 4-0 and upwards they can all use this frame i've give, handed it over to players of various different levels they pretty much all liked it no, no one has really been as sold as I have. I, for me, it's been very, very good. Uh, but for, for most players, it's been like a very solid choice, but not fantastic. So I would put that maybe as a, as a, as a note here to think that this maybe it's not going to wow you completely, but it's going to be a very kind of balanced racket, versatile, pretty easy to use. To compare it to some other rackets, I would say the Radical MP is pretty close in power, in spin pretty much everything somehow i prefer this one over the radical mp but they're both very good rackets maybe the foam filling makes this one feel a bit so more solid uh, which is something i really like so the foam filling is a plus for me and the way this racket plays in comfort and in stability so i really think the foam filling helps uh, Technifiber, they're not alone in doing foam filling there's some you know wilson frames that have foam filling like the rf97 pretty much uh, all angel custom frames have foam filling and uh, you know diadem they do foam filled rackets and they do have a more solid feel which can lead to a very you know high swing weight but if you're fine with the swing weight that solid feel and more comfortable response from the frame is really recommended to try so i really like foam filled rackets it's one of the things i i really enjoy i will make a video specifically about foam filled rackets uh, later on i think because there, i got a question uh, about that in my inbox comparable to the radical mp as i said Kind of a more powerful blade 98 uh, compares pretty well to the pro staff 100 i would say of the prince extreme tour they're in the same category 
versatile player frame you need to have some game but it does give you a little bit free power a little bit lower power than the pure drive vs but in that kind of a uh, kind of whippy player category uh, some good weight in the head for better stability in this one so a very solid choice if you like a bit of a smaller head size than a hundred square inch racket you don't want to go all the way tweener uh, maybe you like the speed but you prefer a slightly smaller head and um, this is where I am often so for me it, it fits my profile pretty well feel very at home on the one-handed backhand forehand took a bit of time because of the very rectangular grip uh, where I, I'm more at home kind of with the roundish grip but um, just an overall very solid frame very good choice for players without arm issues who want kind of a crisp feeling racket that does pretty much everything well I didn't really feel any issues with a more kind of muted response I felt like I could hit touch shots really well I felt pretty at home with the frame uh, there was no shot I couldn't really hit uh, serve some good power and uh, nothing spectacular but good power and uh, slice it doesn't stay as heavy and, and low as the V Core Pro uh, series for example but it, it does give it a nice penetrating slice I feel confident hitting pretty much any shot really with this so versatile balanced nothing stand out a bit more power than these typical 98 where you have prestige blade there are a little bit more lower power those rackets this one you get a bit more pace on but still feels whippier than most 100 square inch rackets so that's a good part of this frame and the racket i could easily play a tournament with and switch to and uh, it's something i'd consider one of the things that pr probably would prevent prevent me from doing that is, is if the quality control be, would be off uh, i can use kind of the, the matching programs of some retailers maybe if i buy a few frames of this uh, and that could work but but i'm worried if I, I just bought two or three frames and hope that they would feel as good as this one uh, which is the demo from tennis warehouse europe uh, that they would come in at, at different specs uh, but I'll, I'll i'll see if there's something i can sort out because i would ideally want to have two of these it's a frame i've really grooved with well over these last two weeks that i've used it well that's pretty much it for the the technifiber t rebound 298 ega uh, one of the most balanced frames I reviewed in a while uh, up there with the Pro Staff 100 and uh, makes my choice very difficult. I have three of the Pro Staff 61 100 now and I'm, I'm playing pretty well with it. Feels natural to me. Very similar in kind of performance to this one. This gives maybe a little bit more power, uh, which is something we can all use. But the, the swing, the string pattern and, and the performance overall and on the feeling on touch is, is pretty close. So. Uh, two very well balanced rackets these two and if you're a fan of the Textreme Tour but you want a smaller head size this is an interesting choice but as I said it's pretty stiff the foam feeling does help I haven't really noticed any issues and I've been playing with, with a full bed of poly but it's always when the stiffness is high I would definitely recommend you to demo it first or if you're playing with softer strings you would be fine but always consider the stiffness as one factor of the racket but the vibrations might be dampened really well here by the foam filling if you want to buy this racket or another racket please consider doing so through my affiliates tennis warehouse europe which i got the demo from tennis warehouse or tennis only in australia if you buy something through my links i get a small commission at no cost to you if you want to support my work as a tennis nerd and racket junkie uh, please check out patreon.com slash tennis nerd where you get more information every week more content more videos more everything for only a few bucks a month and that supports tennis nerd uh, to stay alive that's all have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis